Looks like we got some termites here. Uh, Robert is gonna break this open. This one's actually hard to catch because, man, yesterday I had the great start to a video and had to drive all the way to Magnolia and I just didn't have time to shoot it. We found all kinds of crazy things like the shower pan rotting underneath and stucco issues, uh, minor things on the inside, but I had two really good finds that would've been great on video, but, oh, I had four AC systems, two water heaters, two panel boxes, a sprinkler system, I mean, everything. Great video, but we worked too hard, it got too dark, and um, we still were able to pump out the report, but today we have uh, a property just actually not too far away from my house. I, it looks like I might be able to get some good stuff on it. Let's see what I can find. Let's go check it out. I was right on this one, headed over to Robert's job, and we were able to <laughs> we were able to find some pretty good stuff so far. Um, I'm gonna start here on the roof with this roof inspection. Uh, this roof is at the end of its life. I could tell pretty much just from the pictures, but they always kind of doctor them a little bit. But whenever I showed up, you could tell from the ground and then you really can tell from walking on the roof. Walking up and walking on this roof, uh, you saw granule loss. You can see where the tree is drug across the roof and has damaged several shingles. The flashing is rusted through. You can see where the rodents tear it up and then also just the age, the weather is uh, taking out the taking out the flashing too. Uh, if this roof is not replaced or bare minimum uh, have some heavy repairs, this will leak and cause damage to the client's house whenever, whenever they purchase it. Um, right after the roof, I always knock out the exterior next. So let's go see what I can find on the exterior. Looks like we got some termites here. Uh, Robert is going to break this open. This one's actually hard to catch because the dirt tube is so, uh, it blends in really well. Oh, there you go. Got some termites. Nice. That's a hard find. It blended in pretty well to the foundation wall there. It's been here a while. It has. I mean, you can tell just by the pretty thick the hardness. Of it. Nice. So they chose this area probably because uh, you have a heavy foliage over here. You're going to have the constant moisture from the HVAC. And, and I, I smelt out another one. I yeah. knew it. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, here we go. Documented. There you go. Get another termite photo right there. Oh, oh where that you is at? definitely a shelter tube, but. There, there he are. is. There he is. There he is. Little varmint. <laughs> anyway, yeah. there you go. Nice. Okay, so on the exterior, we found some really good stuff. We found termites, cast iron plumbing, Federal Pacific panel box, and a wood rod on the exterior. I think the client's expecting some of it, but the cast iron plumbing is something that a lot of people don't know about. So definitely, every time you have cast iron plumbing, you want to do a hydrostatic test. And then also with the Federal Pacific panel box, this thing is at the end of its life. Uh, there's a lot of things wrong inside of it. Corrosion, rust, loose breakers, no main disconnect. But the thing is, it's a Federal Pacific panel box. We can go on the list forever of what's wrong with it. The thing is, is it's not safe. And when it comes to Federal Pacific panel, panel boxes, they're related to fires and they they cause fires electrical fires and whenever you have this whenever as an agent or a client you see this just start to budget for it the average price to fix one of those is around 1500 to 2000 dollars so um that's pretty much it i'll show you some of the videos just kind of i might talk over it a voice over or we'll shoot some music or something all right and we're going to be headed to the attic now uh, we have some galvanized plumbing up there let's go see what we can find okay what we have right here is an improperly tied in romex wire to a light fixture they ran it around a corner and tied in another light fixture improperly bare minimum you still want this in conduit and also you don't tie in Romex wire into light fixtures like this. Whenever a home inspector sees something like this, they're always gonna recommend for an electrician to take care of this issue. On the back side of the property, we're gonna talk about the grating. The grating is sloped towards the structure. This can allow water, excessive amount of water, and can eventually lead to foundation movement. Since this property has been like this for well over 50 years, I'm not going to stress about it, especially to the age of the structure. This is something I see a lot, but we bring it to the client's attention to let them be aware of what they're walking into. Okay, in the attic, we got some good stuff. Um, re reassuring what we found on the roof, we can see roof leaks at every single 
uh, roof penetration and then in some areas where the shingles were damaged we can see water stains underneath there we have some electrical issues spliced wires or outside of junction boxes and then also uh, the coils are a little bit older we can write them up as older we don't know if they work yet because we always run the AC second during the summer uh, the winter time um, we also had a little bit of missing insulation where they may have done a repair in the past uh, that's pretty much it up here um, we couldn't see the galvanized water lines, which I'm kind of upset about. Uh, they're all covered with the insulation. We're going to scan inside with a thermal camera to see if we can uh, find anything underneath them. Uh, find, any, find any water stains where they might be leaking, like pinhole leaks uh, with the thermal camera. Just got out of the attic. We're going to knock out the garage real quick. I'm going to go over some quick things. Of course, there's going to be more than average in it. It's a little bit older property, but I'm going to show you some of the things that just stick out to me right now. The first item is the dryer exhaust flue. It is the wrong type of material. It needs to be a smooth metal material. Right here what we have is a fire hazard. The dryer exhaust is also showing signs of water leaking from the roof damage. Next two finds are on the water heater. We're missing a dielectric fitting between the copper and the galvanized. This will eventually corrode and cause water leaking. And then the water heaters in an area where it can leak and cause damage to the structure so it also requires a pan. The final common find in the garage is the attic hatch. It's open to the garage area. You want the garage area to be completely sealed off from the main structure to reduce the chances of fire spreading. All right, moving out of the garage, we're going to go to the interior. Interior of the property is pretty clean. I just really want to do a shower pan test. I find a lot of leaks on these showers, so as I do the thermal scan, I'm going to do a thermal scan of the exterior of the shower while I run it, and I'm going to look for those pinhole leaks with the galvanized water lines. All right, well that shower pan checked out okay. I was surprised, they catch me off guard every now and then, and then I didn't get anything with the thermal and the galvanized water lines. We'll still let them know that they're present, and we'll let them know what happens to older age galvanized water lines, but they are performing today, and that's our job is to come out and determine if they are working or not. Um, and uh, uh, but this does house does have some issues that they do want to focus on again everyone's tolerances are different some clients that could be a lot and some clients that could be nothing at all they're just okay with it so but we're going to come out and document everything we can so that's chris with a action if you have any home inspection questions please give me a call and please always like and share the videos thanks guys bye all right got a third tube robert said they're older and they definitely are so let's open them up and See if we get any. There he is. Yeah, there he is. Little varmint. Come here. <laughs> is that what you say every time? Yep. <laughs>